I'm going to show you the Professor Silencer as it's been dubbed on Model Rail Radio. It's a very simple little device to run. Um, I think I'll demonstrate how it works first and then uh, talk more about uh, how you set it up. So let's turn the power on. I'm reaching over to the... There we go. So this knob here controls the speed of the locomotive and this is a Blackstone locomotive straight out of the box. Um, I haven't changed the DCC address so all I have to do is turn up the speed and the locomotive starts running to whatever speed I set it to. I'm going to let it run a little fast because that will make the video more interesting. But what happens is, uh oh, we're going to go off the track. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what's going to happen? Oh, it reversed itself. And then we go down to the other end. Uh oh, into the track. Don't go off. Oh, it reversed itself. How'd that happen? All right, well, we could do this all day. Anyway, what's going on here is that I have a gap in the rail right here, and this wire acts as a detector. When the train gets over there, it sends some current to the detector, and then my little unit here reverses it. So if you watch here, as it gets down towards the other end there, and it gets detected, you see the LED flash, the red LED by the silver button. Alright, now these three knobs here control the delay times, so if you want to have the train pause at the end and delay, you turn that on. Alright, so that's going to wait for up from 1 to 60 seconds. I've got a detector in the middle here for a station stop, and I can turn the delay up for that. So it'll stop in the middle section there. Alright, and I set the delay for the other end section. So it'll stop and delay there too. So you notice that when it stops, the sound keeps running. That's because I haven't interrupted the current. I've given it a DCC command to stop. Alright, so how does this circuit work? So this box here is sending DCC speed commands continuously to the track for engines 1 through 99 in a continuous loop. And the silver knob controls that speed. And I've got three diodes here set up as current detectors for the three sections in one, in two, in the middle. And what happens is that when the current flows through those diodes, they set off the detector. So the engine gets fully onto the drop section here and support will flow. There we go. And then that's detected, then we wait for a certain amount of time, then we send it speed, reverse the direction and send speed commands to it again.